Hi friends, this is Sagarika from Step Up English, extending a very warm welcome to all of my viewers on YouTube. English idioms are a vital part of everyday English. In order to sound like a native English speaker, one must actively learn more idiomatic expressions. Today's lesson is on idiomatic expressions on education or academics with practice lessons. Well, all that being said, let's get started with today's video. A cakewalk, meaning to achieve something with less effort. Usage, fixing this table will surely be a cakewalk for me, said Rohan. A piece of cake, meaning a task easily accomplished. It's a breeze. Any undertaking is easy to do. Usage. Rohan completed his assignment in no time. It was a piece of cake for him. A walk in the park, meaning an activity or task that can be accomplished effortlessly. Usage. I was confident to complete the five kilometer marathon, thinking it would be a walk in the park, but I forgot that I hadn't participated in marathons in a very long time. To put one's thinking cap on, meaning to think very hard about something. Usage. In order to answer this question, you got to put on your thinking cap on, said the teacher to the students. Bookworm, meaning refers to a person who loves to read books and spends a lot of time reading and studying. Usage. Ashley has always been a bookworm since a young boy. He loves to read books voraciously. If you ever wish to buy him a gift, a book as a present would be a good idea. Class clown, meaning a student who acts in a humorous manner and poke jokes at others too. Usage, my high school days have been quite miserable. Megha, who was known as a class clown by the teachers, poked rude jokes at me to ruin my morale and sanity. Cheat sheet, meaning a sheet of paper containing information that is used by someone for questions that they do not have answers for. The information could be used for cheating, studying or grading for a said exam. Usage. The CEO of the company attended a town hall this morning. He had with him a cheat sheet with answers to the frequently asked questions by the curious employees. Sail through, meaning to easily succeed in something. Usage. Sheila decided to major in chemical engineering. However, her father thinks that she may not sail through this course smoothly. To hit the books, meaning to start or begin to study. To study hard with great intensity and concentration. Usage. Tom should have hit the books a month ago instead of procrastinating. To put an all-nighter, meaning to stay up all night to study or work. Usage. Rita had to fall ill because she had put an all-nighter. To learn by rot, 
meaning to learn something by memorizing without giving any thought to what is being learned. Usage Tina could score a distinction in history because she learned the chapters by rot. To is meaning to do exceptionally well in an examination. Usage Sunil aced his exams. We knew he'd do extremely well because he's a brilliant and a hard-working student, said the teacher. To rack one's brain, meaning to think long and hard about something. Usage why don't you rack your brain to solve the math problem? You do have enough time in hand, said the tutor. To burn the candle at both ends, meaning work or study excessively hard. Usage. No wonder why Sally fell sick. She was burning the candle at both ends in the past several weeks to complete assignments. Teacher's pet, meaning someone who is clearly the favorite of the teacher and thus treated better than the others. Usage, Sam was his teacher's pet in middle school. To pass with flying colors, meaning to win, achieve or accomplish something successfully, outstanding results. Usage, the basketball team returned home after winning the national championship tournament with flying colors. To bomb, meaning to fail to a great degree. Failure, usually used for a movie, but it could be used for anything. Usage. My class presentation was terrible. It bombed. Nobody liked it. To burn the midnight oil, meaning work long hours or study until late in the night. Usage. I have to submit the assignment tomorrow morning. Therefore, I got to burn the midnight oil to complete the assignment. To cut, skip class, meaning to avoid class, play hooky. Usage. I am cutting class and going to watch the final match. To figure something out, meaning to resolve problem. Usage. I couldn't figure out what was written on the board. To draw a blank, meaning unable to recall something. Usage. I know her name, but I can't think of it right now. We studied at the same university. Okay, I'm drawing a blank now. To drop out, meaning to discontinue or leave without completing something that one had started. Usage, he dropped out of school when he was 16. To play hooky, meaning to stay away from school without permission skipping school or work, to avoid school or other duties. Usage I decided to play hooky today to get more time to rehearse for the play. Practice lessons Skipping class will surely have a major consequence on your academic performance in the near future, warned teacher. Had I studied hard, I would have sailed through this course easily.
I had to figure out a way to organize my work and study schedules. The multi-star movie was pathetic. It bombed at the box office. Amanda was disliked by her classmates because she was the teacher's pet. Our principal has introduced a policy to curb students from skipping class. The policy will be made known to the entire school at the assembly. We had to figure out a way to control absenteeism among the high school students. Jay dropped out of university to start his business on organic farming. Joy has poor attendance. He has been cutting class quite frequently. None of the investors were sure to buy my idea. It wasn't promising. It bombed. Maya dropped out of school to support her family when her father passed away. To our surprise, Anita sailed through the second round of interviews smoothly. Ryan had to burn the midnight oil to complete the thesis. The candidate felt butterflies in her stomach. She knew that the interview wouldn't be a walk in the park. I couldn't answer a few questions from Section A. I drew a blank, said Sheila. This is a riddle and a very difficult one. You got to put on your thinking cap on to solve the riddle. Miss Ray's class is a walk in the park. Her lectures are easy to comprehend. Competitive exams are not a piece of cake. One has to burn the midnight oil to secure high distinction grades. I cannot help you in answering the question. You got to think for yourself too. So put on your thinking cap. I fear losing marks because I couldn't write an answer to one of the long questions. I drew a blank. In high school, I got caught for playing hooky and got suspended from school, said Neil. Arun could not pass the exams with flying colors. Writing composition in English is a piece of cake for Nathan. He reads a lot. Reading gives him ideas on story building. Harpreet vowed to ace this semester, for which she had been burning the midnight oil. It's never too late to hit the books, advised Lily to her daughter. Sam would burn the midnight oil to prepare for the competitive exams. He studied way too hard to perform exceptionally well. My friends and I decided to play hooky so we can attend the inauguration of the sports club in our city. Do not treat the upcoming exams as a piece of cake. Hit the books soon or else you may flunk, warned teacher to her students. Although Jess' father was a dropout from school, he had an in-depth knowledge in finance, which paved the way to financial success in his life. We thought the exam would be a piece of cake, but it turned out to be hard. Anita has always been a bookworm since a young girl, said her mother. Joyce was always known as a class clown back in high school. She would keep her classmates entertained with her humor. Neha flunked in major subjects this semester. This is concerning. We need to help her. Anita is a brilliant student. 
She aced all her subjects this year. We are extremely content with her performance, said the teacher to Anita's mother at the parent-teachers meeting. Although Natasha's father was a dropout from school, he worked very hard to provide for his family. I have to hit the books right away. My exams are around the corner, said Tina. If I see you preparing cheat sheets for the exam, I will surely report you to the principal, warned mother to Tom. Should you wish to gift Ray on his birthday, a book or collection of books would be an ideal gift for him because Ray is a bookworm. Although I decided to play hooky, yet I had to attend school because my mother wasn't permitting me to be absent from school. The principal of the school decided to organize a grand party for the teachers who played a vital role in ensuring that every student could pass with flying colors. Sheila was the class clown. There was never a day when she hadn't cracked jokes to make her classmates laugh. My friends and I decided to play hooky so we can attend the inauguration of the sports club in our city. Kavita makes cheat sheets to improve Spanish vocabulary. Anita is a bookworm. Mary is a professor in a reputed university in the UK. Ironically, she was a class clown back in her school days and paid not much attention to what would be taught in class. I am planning to play hooky from school tomorrow so I can watch the baseball game with my friends at 11 a.m., said Ryan. I would need to drink coffee or green tea to stay up tonight or else I shall not be able to put an all-nighter, said Sid. I have to rack my brain to think of a research topic for the upcoming assignment. Mira and her best friend are going to pull an all-nighter to prepare themselves for the class project. Why rack your brain so hard to write down the recipe from memory? Just search it on the internet, said Sally. Friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notification. Thank you. Have a nice day ahead.